According to Abraham Hicks, inspiration is different than motivation. My expanded understanding is that motivation involves a subtle level of force because to motivate someone means they are not really ready to change. And you can potentially say that a certain amount of verbal manipulation is required to evoke change in someone else by prompting thought in a certain way. Whereas inspiration evokes an inner flame without having to impose on anyone else's path or convince anyone that what they are doing is not what they are meant to do. You simply shine your light by living your life, and others will see and witness your transformation unfold. There is no wrong in motivation. It serves a purpose for those who want it and for those who are willing to give it. But for me, I don't want motivation. I desire inspiration. I used to desire to be desired, to be wanted, to be loved, to be reassured, to be provided for, to be acknowledged, to be validated, to be encouraged, to be seen, to be heard, and to be understood. I used to desire to be fulfilled by someone, anyone, a partner, a parent, a friend, a lover, a teacher, a mentor, a job title, a degree, a career, anything that would help to fill one or many holes within me. There is nothing wrong with desiring any of these things. They are all purposefully placed on our path as we learn how to expand. It's just simply a place I have outgrown. Now I desire inspiration. The way life has a way of transforming, of becoming, I desire to be in the presence of life in process. And watch those around me fulfill their own needs in unique ways is the pleasure I appreciate every day of my existence. For I know how to inspire myself, and it's a unique taste that only by going through your own transformation can you achieve. It is an acquired taste for those who seek it, for those willing to go through the internal shedding of old beliefs, for those willing to walk into the unknown towards the inner call of expansion. I am attracting a partner who inspires me and whom I inspire, one who complements my throne, not completes it, but rather complements it. There is a difference. According to Google, the word complements as a verb in the third person present means to add something in a way that enhances or improves it, make perfect. However. I'd like to redefine this word slightly and instead of saying that it makes it perfect, to complement a person, a thing, or an experience is simply to expand on what is already expanding. To be in the process of becoming requires fundamental knowledge that we never end, only expand. Perfection is a final result, but I am always in the process of becoming. I have no beginning and I have no end. I am one with source, one with community, one with myself. I learn, grow, and expand, only to learn, grow, and expand once more. The cycle of life, this infinite existence, is such that we only transform into the next thing. My existence is infinite beyond the knowledge of people, beyond my own understanding because I have yet to achieve it. I've only mastered the infinite emotional experience of bringing myself back to life. Because this moment is life. It is no longer in my past, for those are simply imprints of what once was. And the future I am creating is one with each intentional step. One step right after the other. The deliciousness of existence existing in this moment is one I cannot describe but only feel. I know how I got here because I have achieved it, and now I can show others a similar way too. No, my partner will not complete me, for I have already achieved my own temporary completion. My partner will not fulfill me because I have learned how to fill my own cup. My partner will not be dependent on me to fill their cup, for they will have learned how to provide for themselves. 
my partner will flow in and out of my life without me worrying, without me expecting, without me bothered by their actions, nor the absence of their presence, because I know that they will do whatever they need to do to find alignment with themselves. So that when our paths cross one another, we joyfully focus on the wonderful, beautiful expansion of what we will create together. An infinite infinity of sorts, with our union crossing over in the center as we retreat to fill our own cup, only to come back together for further expansion. Because when you are creating a new world, it only makes sense to attract a partner who knows how to break through the constructs and barriers of the old world that holds us back from becoming. To create a new world, one must first learn to recreate themselves. For simply by existing, we are living art. We already have the coding within us to become the expanded version of those before us. A new dawn is here. Our beginning is at hand. It's just a matter of choice. I have made my choice, and now I have achieved everything I have ever wanted in this moment within me. Anything or anyone else that comes into my experience will simply complement my ever-evolving, expanding existence. My name is Yubi, and this is my transformed truth. Thank you for watching You Becoming Healed, where I model and teach you how to own and transform your truth for healing. Until next time. Don't forget to join our weekly Q&A groups to ask your questions and learn how to better navigate your healing journey. Just to recap, we have the Dream Decoders group on Mondays, the Balanced Healing group on Wednesdays, and the Body Experts group on Fridays. Can't decide which one to join? No problem. Consider our core membership option, which gives you access to all three. All three groups start at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The links are found in the description box below. See you there.